right, guys, let's continue from question six. Question six, uh, part A, uh, evaluate log base four, one quarter, okay? So log, this is part A, log base four, one quarter. So there are two ways to evaluate this. One way is to recognize, to use the law of indices, and then get four to the power negative, one like this. And then you take the negative one, you put it here, according to the laws of indices, okay? According to the laws of logarithms. This one equals one. So you'd actually get negative one here, like this. I think this is the fastest way to compute it, but then let's uh, like explore other ways as well. So the other way is to let log base four on quarter equal to x. And then what you do is that you take this, it kicks, power the answer becomes the power and then it pushes over this one to the side so it's still get uh, for the point negative one then x is equal to negative one like this okay this is another way to go about it uh, let's see is there any other way yeah let's explore a third option so the third option would be mm, let's call it a three year the third option would be to say log base 4, 1 over 4. I think this one would be the fastest one now. <laughs> yeah, so it should be log base 4, 1 minus log base 4, 4, like this. So log base anything, 1 goes to 0, always. This one is always equal to 1. So 0 minus 1, you get negative 1 like this. So these three methods you can use, um, whichever method that you understand. This one, it's a sort of like universal key. So I advise you to always know this. If you know this first, then you can always play around with this as well, this two, this other two. But know this, because um, it's sort of like a universal key. It applies almost every time you have such questions. So let's um, move on to part B. So part B, part B wants us to evaluate this, okay? So three log, 5 plus 3 log 2 minus 1 like this. So if we want to evaluate this, uh, one way to go about it is to join them into a single logarithm, okay? So how would you do that? These, they become powers according to one of the laws. And these, they become powers as well. So this become uh, a power, becomes a power. And this one would be log what? Log 10, okay. Notice that we don't have any base. So if we don't have any base, that means that the base is 10. And one for base 10 would be uh, log 10, okay. Log base 10, 10. Log this x, x equal to 1, always. Okay. So if you're in base 10, just know that for in order for you to get 1, you need to have 10. If you were in base 2, you would have written log base 2 to the... Anyway, um, so you'd, uh, if they are adding, then that means you're multiplying. So if you have multiple, what you do is that just open your logarithm, everything that's positive. For example, 5 to the power 3 is positive. So multiply by 2 to the power 3 is positive as well. This one is negative, so it has to go down. Okay, so you'd actually get log, and here you get 125 if you want, you can just write, since we're simplifying anyway, 5 times 5 times 5, then 2 times 2 times 2, okay, then divided by 10, so you'd get uh, 5 into 10, that's 2, um, cancel one of the 5s here, cancel this one, then you'd get uh, 20, 25, 25 multiplied by 4, 25 multiplied by 4 is what? It's 100. 25 multiplied by 4 is 100. Of which uh, log base 10, 100 equals to what? To 2, okay. It's equal to 2. Here's why it's equal to 2. Log base 10, 100 you log best 10 I'm using the second method um, that we use the time 
pre in the previous example. So it get two log plus ten ten. We say that one over this one's match. It's equal to one. Okay. So whenever you have uh, a logarithm for base ten, whatever number you have, as long as it's a multi, it's a, it's a, as long as it's ten, one hundred, like like those those types of numbers, then you can just count the number of zeros. That will be your equivalent. So here you actually get uh, get two. Let's see. Is there any other way to go about it? Yeah, I think so. So let's try to. Let's not convert this one, okay? Let's just concentrate on this. So you'd actually get log um, 543 multiplied by log um, what's, uh, 2 to the power 3, like this. Minus 1. So you get log 5 to the power 3 multiplied by 2 to the power 3, like this. Minus 1. Then you get log 5 power 3 is 20, uh, 125. 125 multiplied by 8. So 40, 16, 20. So 8, 9, 10. Get 1000. Okay, minus 1. So log 1000, it's actually go to 3. Just like what I was telling you that you count the number of zeros here for base 10. So you get 3 minus 1, 3 minus 1, which is equal to what? 2. All roads will lead to the same answer. Okay. So let's quickly move to question 7. It says write down the next two terms in the pattern. So 16, 8, 4, 2. So this one is simply half. We are, we, are, we are multiplying this by, by, by half, okay. Uh, it was 16, then divide by 2. Then we get 8. 8 divided by 2, then we get 4. 4 divided by 2, then we get 2. 2 divided by 2, then we get 1. 1 divided by 2, then we get half. Okay. Those are the UPO two uh, terms in the sequence. So this one is a non-routine question. You actually have to observe and then think fast. Anyway, let's move to the B part. The B part says by, uh, by selling an item for this much, your retailer makes a profit of 15% on the cost price. Um, there are four ways to go about doing this, but what I encourage you to do is to identify this with a, with a certain percentage, okay? So this selling price, what percentage does it constitute? So this selling price, it's actually one one fifteen percent So selling price is one fifteen percent of cost price okay so selling price is one fifteen percent of cost price what it means is that for the cost price taking cost price is the hundred percent if you increase fifteen percent here you get the selling price so you'd say that one fifteen percent corresponds to what to five twenty nine like this what about 100%? 100% would be cost price, okay? Corresponds to less. So if it's less primary school stuff, it means that small number at the bottom. They multiply by 529. Like this. So if you want, you can put the sign, it's still fine. So here, 5, 5 is affected, definitely. So 5 into this, you get 20. 5 into 10, you get 2, remainder 1, remainder 1, 5 into, you get 3. So 23 must be a factor here. Let's, uh, let's just test it out, okay? So just because you're in purple one, so usually they uh, give you stuff that give like exact numbers. So 23 into 23, let's say into this, you get 44, 46, which is 2. So... You just rub a little bit so you get two so 46 up to 52 uh you'd need six i think so into 69 you get three so you actually get uh 23 here so 23 so yeah this one's the cancer obviously then 20 times 23 you get um uh, uh, 2 times 23 you get 46 so 460 
for $60. Okay. So what we did was that we identified this number. What percentage does it correspond to? The answer that you want is the 100%. Okay. So what would this be? On cost price, we're supposed to add the profit, which is 15%. That's the margin. And it becomes 115%. The 115% corresponds to this. So you want to know what 100% corresponds to. So use a simple proportion. Okay. Let's quickly move to the next part. Next uh, question is this. It says solve the inequality. This. So A, we have to solve this inequality. Mm, 2x plus 9 like this. So the... I always advise my students to to shift the these variables such that you don't have any negative number concerns okay so for for this one you'd get positive if you had shifted this one to the side then you you would have gotten negative of each negative uh, when you divide then you're supposed to change the sign when you divide the side with uh, the variable so most people they usually forget so in order for you to just be on the safe side you just shift the number such that you don't create any negative signs so this one go that way and you'd get positive okay then the b part says illustrate the solution on a on a number line so a number line so x less than two it means uh it's a strict sign okay so it means that hollow so you'd have two here Okay, and then you would have um, x going this side. Okay, so your number line would be 2 if you want. You can say 1, 0, minus 1, and so on. Okay, if you want, you can say 3, 4, like this, going on. But then this one represents the, the, this is how you illustrate. This arrow says that it goes on and on, okay. Let's quickly move to uh, question 9. Solve the simultaneous equation, this. Okay, so the way that I want you to, to go about it is to use elimination method because it always, it usually computes the answer the fastest. So you want to find what you can match. I advise you to match it such that you don't have any fractions. Because fractions, they can be notorious to deal with. So for example, here, I would want very much to match this and this. For me to clear this, this half and make it 4, I have to multiply this by, by 8. Okay. So and then this one, I'm just going to multiply by 1. I'm not going to change it in, in any way. So here you multiply each and every entity that's there. Entity means, uh, in, in our case, it means all the, any standalone terms, they are enti entities. So now that we have this, whenever you, you have matched here, whenever you have different signs, always add. If you have same sign, subtract. So when you add this one, you get 11x. 11x equal to, this one was supposed to be 8, remember. So I'm so sorry about that. We're supposed to multiply throughout by 8. So this one was supposed to be 8. So this plus this, you get what? 22, I think. Then divide both sides by 11. Then you get x equal to, equal to 2. But then this is not the end, okay? Simultaneous equations means you have to um, you have to get the answers for for all the for both x and y. So you can say from then just take one equation that you think would be easier. There, I'm going to take the first one. Okay, so we have x equal to two. So 2 plus half y equal to 1. So you have half y equal to 1 minus 2. You have half y equal to minus 1. You can say by 2 here, by 2 here. Then you get y equal to minus 2. Like this. 
and this is your answer. So we used our elimination method. Uh, it was going to be easier. If you wanted, if you had used a substitution method, then this uh, fraction would have been problematic anyway. It doesn't mean that you can't do it. It just means that it would be a little bit difficult. So that's it for um, questions 6 to 10. In the next video, we'll look at uh, questions 11 to uh, 15. So thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Yuba out.